U.S. President Joe Biden and South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol said after a meeting Saturday that they will consider expanded military drills to deter North Korea's nuclear threat at a time when there is little hope of real diplomacy. On the matter consists IN remarks at a press conference. Yoon reiterated that their common goal is the complete denuclearization of North Korea. The U.S. and South Korea issued a joint statement saying they are committed to a rules-based international order following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The statement likely sets the stage for how the U.S. and its allies will address any challenges with North Korea. The statement could provoke an angry reaction from North Korea, which has defended its nuclear weapons and missile development against what it perceives as U.S. threats, and has long described the U.S.-South Korea military drills as invasion rehearsals. Though allies described the drills as defensive Biden told his counterpart at a meeting that their 70-year alliance between their countries was founded on a common sacrifices and was being taken to a new level as the emphasis on national security was reinforced with an added focus on trade and technology. Our two nations are working to embrace both the opportunities and the challenges of the moment, said the U.S. president. The division of the Korean peninsula after World War II has resulted in two radically different countries. In South Korea, Biden tours factories for computer chips and next-generation cars in a democracy and holds talks on closer cooperation. But in the North there is a deadly coronavirus outbreak in a largely unvaccinated autocracy that can best get the world's attention by using its nuclear capabilities. Speaking to reporters aboard Air Force One as Biden flew to South Korea, White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said the U.S. had coordinated with Seoul and Tokyo on how to respond if the North launched a nuclear test or would launch a missile attack while Biden is in the region or shortly thereafter. Sullivan also spoke to his Chinese counterpart Yang Jiechi earlier in the week, urging Beijing to use its influence to persuade the North to halt testing the AS part of a five-day visit to Asia. Biden spent Saturday building his relationship with Yoon, who took office just over a week ago. One of Biden's tasks was to reassure South Korea about U.S. commitments to confront North Korea's Kim Jong-un. There is concern in Seoul that Washington is falling back on the Obama administration's strategic patience policy of ignoring North Korea until it shows seriousness about denuclearization, an approach that has been criticized for neglecting the North as it made great strides in building its nuclear arsenal.